This is the first revival of Edward's work in New York uh, in the wake of his death. And it feels meaningful to me and like I want to even say kind of right that it's happening in this building. This is a writer who was incredibly important in a kind of foundational moment and set of years for this company and important to this company's legacy. Um, and in turn, in the last 24 years of his life and career, this institution um, was uh, incredibly important uh, to Albie. It's the play in which he says he found his voice, the zoo story, um, and then Edward 50 years later. Home life chronologically precedes the events of the zoo story and it's written as a kind of context for the zoo story. But I, I of course think as an evening, they kind of beautifully and reciprocally create a context for each other, looking back at each other. In all of these plays, and these especially, there's like a moment where usually at least one person gets to encounter that sort of deeper self. And in that encounter, um, I think there's the nagging suggestion that's like a little optimistic that we might have the capacity for real substantial change. And you know, I'm pretty moved by that.